Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today we're going to be customizing the Lampadaddy Pagale in Grand Theft Auto Online. I just got back from vacation, so forgive me if I uh, sound a little rusty or anything like that. Let's get right into this. I've never customized this car before and I'm kind of excited to actually get into it. All right guys, so starting off with the armor all the way up, of course, as well as the brakes and the engine. Next up, we got the exhaust here. We can add a chrome tip exhaust or a big bore exhaust as well. Let's go for the big bore. That's uh, that's looking pretty lethal. So next up, we got the hood. We can add a carbon hood to this thing, a rat hood or a rat hood and bra. I'm not really sure why you would want that or that or that, but the option is there, of course. We are going to be going with nothing, though. For the lights, we're going to go Xenon, of course. For the respray, I feel like this car is deserving of Dew Yellow because it's like an older car, you know? I feel like I feel like a Dew Yellow or maybe, maybe even like a green, maybe a racing green. Mm, I don't know if this thing deserves a racing green. We'll have to see about that. An olive green, though. Let's go for olive green. Why not? I think this is the first time on this channel that I have ever gone for an olive green. So, there you go. Fun fact. We could actually... Hmm. We could do the secondaries maybe black or something just to, uh, just to switch things up a bit. I think we should. Let's do the second area is black. All right, next up we got the roof. We can add a small roof rack, a large roof rack, empty roof rack, or an alpine roof rack. That's kind of cool with the skis on it. I kind of like that. Uh, I kind of like the big luggage rack too though. Let's go for the big luggage rack, why not? For the spoiler, we can add rear louvers. It does actually grant a traction bonus, so Normally, I probably wouldn't go for it, but since it does grant a traction bonus, let's put them on. For the suspension, oh wow, you can actually lower this thing quite a bit. That actually is a, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a good drop. Let's do it, why not? For the transmission, all the way up, of course, as well as the turbo. Now for the wheels, this thing is an old sort of boomer mobile, so... I don't really know what to go for here. Maybe some lowrider rims? I always suck at picking older rims for cars, guys. You know that if you uh, if you watch my channel a lot. So this might, uh, this might be a bit brutal. Um, okay, so that's what they look like stock. So what if we go with something sort of mimics stock, but just the turbine? Sure, let's, let's do it. The color of them, uh, let's go, yeah, I think black is gonna, yeah, black's gonna be the choice. For the tire design, we could add one, of course. Not really feeling it, though. Bulletproof tires, though, we will add for sure. The windows, we're gonna tint those all the way out, of course, as well. Now, this thing's interesting. It actually has, like, European-style plates, and it looks like the plate in the front is actually hidden behind glass. It is. So that's kind of cool. It's quite an odd design, but uh, you know, it's kind of cool. I kind of like this thing, you know, let's take it down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a review. It sounds kind of weird, but I don't think it sounds like bad necessarily so you know what sounds sounds okay sounds pretty good now off the line is this thing front wheel drive hold on or is it all wheel drive oh boy okay i'm hoping it's all wheel drive however i don't think that it is it is front wheel drive only as you guys can see right there that's interesting i was not expecting that to be honest i thought this thing was going to be rear wheel drive for sure but uh you know what? It's a surprise. It's uh, it's cool. So, this thing's actually quite quick. I'm, I'm shocked at how fast this thing actually is. This thing's speedy, and the more that I drive it, it sounds like actually really good. This thing sounds good, and it performs well. What the hell? 
I was not expecting this, to be honest, guys. I, I thought this thing was going to be, like, just a slow, like, you know, POS. Like, I, I actually am shocked right now. This car is actually impressive. And, it, you know, the best part about it is that it doesn't actually feel like it's front-wheel drive so far, which is very nice. We're going to see how this thing actually handles the twisty section of road. I'm interested to see. Of course, it is raining, which uh, definitely is not going to help out with this test. But that being said, oh, oh, it was close. We we almost made it up without any incidents. Um, we're going to have to see how it does up ahead here. Obviously, I'm accounting for this, you know, handling in the rain because it wouldn't be fair for all the other cars that I've reviewed, you know, to do them all in the sun and then just say this thing's handling is trash or whatever just because it's raining. So, you know, I'm taking the rain into account. I feel like this thing does actually handle pretty decently. I think the rain is definitely masking that a little bit, but it still does handle pretty well, even in the rain. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this car overall. I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely surprised with this car. That's for sure. I was not expecting this thing to be nearly as good as it is, you know, acceleration wise, at least, or even handling wise. It actually feels like very solid it feels very planted i don't really have any complaints about this thing's performance you know the handling could be you know a little bit better it would be a little bit cooler if this car was rear wheel drive but we don't have that many front wheel drive cars in the entire game so you know i'm not going to complain because i know there's guys out there that do like front wheel drive cars so you know if you're into front wheel drive cars this is a car that you should probably look into this thing's actually really really cool this thing is only about $400,000, so if you do actually want to pick this thing up, it's not going to cost you a fortune. And, you know, for what it is, it is a pretty good front-wheel drive car, I would say. So, anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.